Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing, I think this might be my first Valentine's Day look ever that I filmed. Not that I've been here a long time on YouTube, but you know what I mean. So I decided that I might try to do a few Valentine's Day looks and we'll see. So I got one done. I feel very accomplished. Not sure how many more I'll get done, but hey, the month is still young. So anyways, this is Chloe Morello's Pretty Fun and Fearless Palette Volume 2 from Ciate. And I mean, it just makes sense. It says XOXO. Doesn't that scream Valentine's to you? The day of love. Okay, so in this palette has some absolutely gorgeous colors. I used several of them. I've used some Topless, some Pony, Violet, Jelly Bean, Morello Cherry. I think, no, maybe, no. I was going to pick up Renegade and Beauty, but I did not. So this palette, I am also looking forward to, to do a look for St. Patty's Day because of these colors down here. So that'll probably be another video, of course. But back to this palette. So I wanted to use some red, some pink, some purples to pull this look together. And then I took, for the glitter on top, I used some of the Stila. So the Stila partnered very well with the palette. The palette went on really nice. You'll see I was not expecting it to be pigmented and boom, Pony started out pigmented. So you're gonna see that. So then I knew I needed to like not dip as hard. I really didn't dip hard, but I just knew I had to go in with a lighter hand and really go really, really light on the eyes because these babies are pigmented. The other thing that I like about this palette is yes, they're pigmented. It's got a little bit of fallout, but it's controllable. It's not one of the ones that I cannot stand because it has way too much fallout. So the fallout is controllable, which is fantastic. So I give this plus, this plus, you know that it's getting a plus now. I just gave you a sneak peek and how I was gonna grade it, right? So I'm gonna give this palette actually a 10. I don't know that I've given a 10 in a while. The reason why I'm giving it a 10 is I do like the presentation of the palette. The palette is pretty. It is cardboard though. So you think I would take like a low 10, maybe a low 10. But I like the front of it. It's very, very pretty. It's got, it's absolutely cute on the inside with a mirror and you can see my fingers have been all over it. Just, it's got an adorable presentation. But for me, what holds the most as far as when I'm grading these is how these babies actually perform. And today I really had just a great time using these. Again, pigmented, not a lot of fallout. If you're like me and like to get rid of your redness, your flaws, etc., before doing your eyes because your eyes just don't look right if your foundation isn't great, Rusty, come on now. My, kid, my kids are really bad. That's all I got to say today. Anyways, back to the palette and less about my dogs being really bad. So I do like this palette. I will probably shift this one to the front of the palettes for me to be able to grab because again, I like how these, these eyeshadows perform. I like the fact that there's not a lot of fallout and I mean, they went on great. So anyways, if you want to see how I created this Valentine's Day look, you know what to do. You gotta stay tuned. Today we're going to use uh, Chloe Morello's second palette, Pretty Fun and Fearless. And I bought this, gosh, it seems like forever ago and just hadn't had a chance to get around it, but get around to it. So today I'm gonna try to do a semi Valentine's Day look with it. We'll see. But with the reds and the pinks, I thought that was really pretty. So we'll see how this comes out. We don't know if we don't try, right? So let's see, I'm gonna start out with this color here called Pony. Oh, okay. Well, this must be a wild pony. It's got some definite pigment. Wasn't ready for that. Go Chloe. In fact, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and try to tone that down. Maybe I should have done a swatchy test first. 
That's exciting. I hope that violet color and jelly bean are pigmented. That would be awesome. Okay, I wanna pick up this color here called jelly bean. And the jelly bean I'm using more in the crease. Definitely getting a pinky vibe here. The next color I'm gonna pick up in this palette is this color called violet. What I like about this palette is it does have some fallout, but it's not like crazy. So I, I do really appreciate that. Now I'm gonna go in with the Morello Cherry. I'm gonna take the color here called Topless, which is a funny color for white because I'm sure most women topless have a much wider underneath. I think I'm gonna go back with this color Jelly Bean. And we're gonna pick up the color Violet. I am going to take the Stila. I got these at Christmas, they're so cute, they're little. On the inner waterline, I'm gonna use Pink of Me from Marc Jacobs. For my liquid liner today, I'm going to use the Ultra Liner Waterproof from Maybelline. Okay, I've just applied some mascara, put the false eyelashes on. We're gonna let those dry a moment, and then we'll go ahead and put a little bit more mascara on with those. In the meantime, I'm gonna pick up my Makeup Geek palette that I made with all of her blushes. I miss working in my little studio like I've got, yeah. I miss my little studio. So I'm gonna take these two colors here, which are Cherish, which is perfect for Valentine's, and Spellbound, again, perfect for Valentine's. And we're gonna highlight the cheek. And then we're gonna take this color, oh, it's actually named Valentine. It's a little bit brighter, so we're just gonna pop that right over the top. Holy mackerel, I went a little crazy with the blush. So let's tone that down a bit. I definitely look like I'm blushing. I also took this dual-sided Z palette and added some of Makeup Geek's highlighters. And she just got some gorgeous ones here. I think I am going to pick up this one here, which is Sugar Rush. It took me a minute. Like the colors on the back of that, or the writing kind of, it's a little bit skewed. Okay. It's been fun pulling back out my Makeup Geek stuff. Because I love it so much. So I'm trying to debate on the lip. And I don't know if I'm going too pinky pinky where I need something a little bit more toned down. Or do I stay with the pinks? That could be fun. We're going to do purple. This is the plush from Makeup Geek. And the color is Daredevil. Okay. So that definitely looks like those sweet tarts that say, I love you, be mine, Valentine. These eyelashes are the Glam Pack from Ardell, in case y'all were wondering. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm gonna go do something with this crazy hair and I'll give you kind of my Thank thoughts Thank you so much for it. joining me today as I used the newest Chloe Morello Palo from Ciate. I had a blast using this palette. So if you like this Valentine's look, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend and don't forget to click that bell. That way you get to see these videos more often. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.